Hey guys, I have not been live for a minute, so it looks different. <laughs> I need to figure out how this works, so hang tight. Let's see if I can invite. I'm going to be inviting Kelly, the owner of us. Here we go, I'm figuring this out. Yay, hi Kelly. Can you guys hear me? I'm using my ear pods and they've been not reliable lately. Perfect. Okay. If anybody's on, oh, I, I see if you guys have joined. Hello, hello, welcome. Can you give me, can somebody give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me? I have invited you, Kelly. I don't know if I did it. What's this? Oh, there we go. Accept. Perfect. Yay, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done a live, like a few months, and I know they're always updating. Hey, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. These um, ear pods have been hit and miss lately, so I'm glad we're all connected. Yep, you look good. You sound good. We are awesome. Good. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for joining me. I know we've been trying to do this for a while, but our schedules are always <laughs> conflicting. So yay. Yeah, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for asking to do this because I was just like thinking before you even asked, I was like, you know, what? I never get interviewed anymore. I'm like, I don't even exist in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I've been so busy just trying to put all of these things together. And Whew, it's been a lot for the last like month, especially. So it's nice to like chill and connect because that's really like what the entire Slay the Spray movement is all about. So I need to like center back in and remember like that's the whole reason we're doing this. Right. Totally. Well, I know I'm not the only one that's been literally counting the days for months. As soon as we knew this was actually going to go on this year, I've been having it on my calendar and I'm like, I'm coming. I don't care because I'm in Toronto and the event is in California and I'm like, I'm going to find a way to come. So, and I know a lot of uh, people probably on this well, that are watching the live right now are hopefully coming. Some people might have questions. So maybe just for anyone who's joining, who doesn't know what Slay the Spray is and who doesn't know who you are, could you just introduce yourself and maybe just share a little bit about the event? For sure. So my name is Kelly Callahan of spray tan class. I started my mobile spray tan back in 2014. And um, basically ever since then, I've been able to look at opportunities in the sunless industry and say like, what do we actually need as sunless artists, as a sunless community? And a lot of things came up for me. And one of those things was spray tan training from women who have actually owned businesses and um, having a training that was like brand neutral, having a training that was gonna help turn sunless artists into actual business owners because Pamela, you know this, like it doesn't take just you learning how to spray tan to become successful in this. It takes a whole community of people to help you. It <laughs> takes knowledge, education, persistence, um, marketing skills, business skills. So over the last seven years of training, I've done a lot of different things. Um, Slay the Spray was actually not born this year, as I think a lot of people think. It was born, I want to say, four or five years ago, where I had this idea to travel around the United States, and I actually been to Canada, which is where we first met, um, to train and certify girls in spray tanning. So teaching them about technique, business, marketing, all of the things. So I did that for a couple of years. And when COVID hit, we actually had a lineup of cities we were supposed to go to and everything obviously canceled. 2020 got canceled. <laughs> Gray got canceled. So after a year of actually like tuning in, chilling out, and like I had a baby during that it was like a very good year for me because I was just like, whew, I don't have to like do all of these things. At the very end of that year, I was like, okay, I know that I personally am not going to travel to train anymore. Like that's out of the question. So how can I make something bigger, better, more impactful? And how can I do it in person? Because live events um, are everything for me personally. Like I love hosting them. I love creating them. And so in March of 2021, I was like, I know this is a huge risk, but what I want to do is get all of the sunless babes together and I want to do a slay the spray, but on like steroids. So I decided that we were going to do it. And even though at that time we can only have 54 people in the room because of COVID and now it's 108, 
Um, I still wanted to do it. I was like, I'm just going to get as many people as we can involved. And I knew there was risks involved because like, who knows if we were going to shut down again, but I was like, screw it. Let's just do it. And so ever since like mid March to now, I've been planning this event, putting it all together, getting all the speakers involved, all the trainers involved, like trying to make this like the best of the best situation because we as sunless artists or people who are looking to get into the sunless industry, like absolutely need the support and the education and a live community to like come to every single year. So that's the vision for it. And I know it's going to be so great. So I'm excited. I love it. I'm getting full body goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because it's freaking getting cold here already, but that makes me <laughs> so excited. And just to touch on the live events, like I can attest to that because my first live live event was one in Vegas in 2018, I believe. And I did meet you very briefly there, but we never like really connected. I just kind of passed by your booth. And I can personally say that that live event completely changed my business because I didn't, I was doing makeup was like my main thing and spray tanning was kind of like my add on service. And I didn't realize how much potential was in the spray tanning industry and how much better I could be. And just like in Canada, it's here, but it's not as popular maybe as in the States or different parts of the world. So I knew there was like a big opportunity for me to like really start focusing and growing my, the spray tanning side of my business. And now I do more spray tanning than I do makeup and I love it. So I, and I, I think just being there with all those people just really inspired me. Not only did I learn new techniques, I, I started using different products. I started doing contouring. I got more advanced in my skill, but I just sort of started believing like, oh my God, there's so much potential in here. And I just invested time after that into growing it and it, and it has worked. So I, and it was just a lot of fun too. Like I met so many amazing ladies that I still talk to today. I like consider some of my best friends um, just from the that one event and then the next year and and this year as well so yeah no I love, I love it. it like one piece that I think is very very important for people know to know is that what we instill at like Slave Spray it's not just again like a lot of people come because they're like I want to learn contouring or I want to learn like a specific skill set and I think like breaking everything down the foundation of what i believe to be true is what we're trying to instill is the belief that you can actually grow and scale this to a six figure or more business. Um, so that's like the whole mindset around the entire, this particular Slay the Spray event, because the belief part, like you, you know, you went in there and you were like, oh, like, I'm just going to check it out, see how it is, you know, it's in this industry, like whatever, it's your secondary like side hustle. But like, once you had that belief, like, oh, shit, I can actually make this into like my main business and make it bigger than like my current business right now. Like, once you have that shift in mindset and perception, like, it's so crazy, the things that you can do with it. I mean, look at you, Pamela, like, you grew your business, you became a trainer, like, you're one of the most like, well known trainers, you know, like, I love that i love seeing like the progression that you've had since that one event and that's what live events does it like opens up doors of opportunity that you don't even know existed yeah and it, it really was a like a chain of different events that happened as a result of that one decision and so many things have happened since then that are just like blow my mind <laughs> but the the other thing that was really really impactful for me and being a part of the spray tan class community is that is the community and i think as solopreneurs or beautypreneurs or mompreneurs all those things that we are mm -hmm. we don't have the support and it can become really really um, like I know a lot of people who have quit because they just didn't have the support like outside of our community but just in general in the beauty industry especially during COVID and through all of these things that we go through in life so just to have like a group of girls that is like on Instagram that you connect with you don't have to live in the same town or the same country but that you can talk to about things and that you like we've cried together in on calls and on you know conversations on Instagram we've supported we cheer each other on we've given tips and um it's just been very helpful for me personally and also professionally just to have a community of people that are positive that are like-minded that are like we're all kind of going in the same direction even some girls that are in my own neighborhood you know we're not competitive we're working together and I think just building um the community in like such a positive way is something that I know that you have really been like contributed to that a lot. So thank you. And I know this event's going to be just like compound that vibe that we have going on. So 
Absolutely. I believe that I attract like a certain type of person and I definitely repel a lot of people. Um, and I think it's because I'm pretty like straightforward and honest and transparent when it comes to like who I want to work with and the types of people I want to surround myself with, um, which I don't think is very common. Like I feel like I got to know how to explain it. I just want good people, good vibes. I want people who are like there to support one another. I want people who aren't going to like secretly like like hate somebody in the background because like they're doing better than themselves like I know those feelings come up for everybody like I've been there and I've had those feelings and I've learned to work through them so I do think um those are really the types of people that are going to be at this event and like you said like I love like the tribe like I love the beauty business space Facebook group I love our spray tan trainers like I think we all have a very similar mentality when it comes to that um, and I will say for sure that if it wasn't for the community that I surround myself with, like you, Pamela, like people on the Beauty Business Space Facebook group, like people in the spray tan class community, I absolutely for sure 1000% would not be where I'm at today because everything that I have done and have been inspired by has been because of the community that I surround myself with. So like the people who are alone, the people who don't have that support, or the people who don't really like talk to many people, like they don't understand how impactful that is for their business, for their own like mental health, for their growth, their personal growth, their career growth, all of these things. So I really hope that even some of the introverts that I know that are going to slay the spray or that are thinking about coming to slay the spray, I hope that they pull the trigger because I do think it's important to like kind of mingle and like see who's out there. Cause again, like Obsidian Sunless would have never been born had I not went to like a live event. Um, and I just wouldn't have the growth that I have today. So I'm so grateful. I love that. Okay, so share. I know you have like a massive lineup. <laughs> it's a full weekend event. <laughs> Talk to us about some of your favorite things that are going to be happening there. You know, I think for me personally, like on the back end of things, I'm just so happy about how organized it is. Like for real. I was like, I'm so proud of myself. I've always said, like, I was not organized at all up until like, I want to say like two ish years ago. I started being like, I need to get organized. Like I need to like put things into folders. I need to like not have a million things everywhere. And I'm not the most organized human still, but I am so much better than I ever was. So like that alone by itself for me personally has like relieved so much, so much stress and has allowed me to be more creative through the process of creating this event. So for me, I'm really excited to see like the people's reactions when like certain like um, surprises come up or like, when like certain people come to like come on stage or like when the certain events that I have prepared for everybody like are actually going to be happening like I'm excited to see everyone just have a really really good time like you know pull their hair down like let their hair loose like have a good time and not worry about like the stresses that we've all been in for the last like 18 months because I'll be the first person to say like it's not been easy for anybody over the last like 2020 even going into 2021 like you know it's like a, a roller coaster where it like it gets easy and then it gets hard and then it gets easy and then it gets hard so like I want this whole like three-day experience to be nothing but like fun laughter community like just having a time and space where you could actually say like, wow, I'm not stressed out right now. Like mm -hmm. I'm having a fabulous time. And I'm also learning how to like grow my business. So I think that's really the most exciting thing for me. It's like just the idea of seeing everybody's reactions and like just having a really freaking good time. I love that. So there's a blend of different things happening from actual spray tan training, hands-on training, live demonstrations. There's going to be guest speakers. I heard dancing. I heard yoga. I, I heard cocktails. <laughs> yeah. So there's, um, there's a whole schedule like that is basically going to start on Friday day. So it starts on Friday at 8 a.m., for our shimmer and gold guests. Um, so there's three different ticket options. We have our bronze guests, which is basically like the general admission. Then we have shimmer guests, which get um, the ability to go to one class, one certification class. And then we have our gold guests, which has two certification classes. 
And the certification classes are all day on Friday. So for our Shimmer and Gold guests, they basically have the um, option to go in person to get trained. And they also get the online version of these courses that they choose from. So we have our beginner's course in the morning and then our master's course in the evening. And then for everybody, bronze, shimmer, and gold guests, on Friday evening, we're going to basically be on the rooftop bar um, of the Andes Hotel in San Diego. So just like imagine like a beautiful sunset. We're in the middle of downtown. Like it's so, so beautiful, so nice. Sorry, let me turn off my phone. Um, so nice. And it's just like such a refreshing place to be. So upstairs, we're going to have that entire space to ourselves. Um, we have live music that's going to be playing. We have awards to be given out. Um, and a lot of these like women, nobody knows that they're getting an award. So it's all like very hush hush. I think I'm the only person actually I haven't told anyone, which is surprising because I have a big mouth. Uh <laughs> Really excited for that. And then um, the next day, the following day, we're going to be doing all technical um, training. So in the morning, we have like a couple surprises. We have sponsors that are going to have booths set up. And then starting at 10 a.m., we have all of the speakers who are going to be demonstrating um, certain technical aspects of the industry. So like how to contour, how to tan um, women of color or people of color, how to do bridal tans. Um, you're going to be speaking about that and really how to like perfect your art and become not just like a mediocre, like 2.5 star artist, but how to become like that five star go-to artist in your community. Um, and then the following day, we're going to have the opportunity for anyone who wants to like work out in the morning. We have a dance class in the morning. Yoga is not going to be a part of it this year, but we did have it last year and that was really fun. But we're just going to be doing dancing because I really want everyone's energy to be like high vibe throughout this event. Um, and then that particular day is going to be all about business growth and marketing. So we're really, really focused in hitting that six figure mark or going beyond that. So um, our whole goal is to really give valuable tips, strategies, and things that you can implement right away so that way you can see that type of growth in your business. Um, so as long as you're doing the work, as long as you're paying attention, as long as you're taking notes and like being a part of this event, I know that it's going to be so impactful for all of the attendees that are going to be there. And unfortunately, it has to end at some point. So that day at 6 p.m. <laughs> is the end, and then we get to say goodbye, but more like see you later, and hopefully everyone will come back next year. Awesome. So what about, um, are there tickets still available for people who are kind of on the fence or they're like maybe trying to get things sorted out before they can come? Like, is there still space? How much time do we have to yeah. get enrolled? Yeah. So we actually, I looked last week and we had about 15 seats available. So we only have a few seats for shimmer, a few seats for gold. And then we have, um, I want to say about eight to 10 bronze tickets available as well so i um definitely feel like we're going to sell out by october 1st but that's when ticket sales end so it's like either or like whenever we sell out or october 1st hits we're going to stop selling tickets because we do have to like make sure that everyone has their appropriate um like name tags and things like that that we have here that we're creating for them so um yeah, we do have a couple of tickets available, and that's all at slaythespray.com. If you guys are interested in seeing the whole lineup, who's going to be involved, the speakers, sponsors, all of that stuff, I am happy to answer any questions as well. You guys can DM me. Awesome. What about um, people who can't make it in person? Um, there's a virtual option that became available, right? Yes. Yeah, so I want to say it was like 10 days ago. I yeah. put this out there, and I was like, you know, I had a lot of people that reached out and they were like, hey, you know, because of COVID, because of like health issues or because whatever, the restrictions, travel restrictions, lack of funds, whatever. They were like, I can't make it. And um, I do want to know if you're going to be doing this next year. I personally don't really like promising anything like for sure in writing like, hey, yes, I'm going to definitely do it next year because you just never know. Like what if I'm nine months pregnant and like, you know, I don't know. I'm just not going to be able to like do a whole show like this. But you know, I did want the opportunity for people around the world who wanted to join this to be a part of this, um, to be able to do that. So we made it super affordable for anybody who wants to join the virtual um, side of things and just watch live stream or the recording. Um, they can do so by signing up at slaythespray.com. So basically, the way that's going to work is that on Saturday and Sunday, when all of the speakers are speaking and doing their demonstrations, Anyone that is registered for that ticket, the virtual ticket, will be able to get access to the live stream video and then the recording for up to seven days. 
Awesome. I think that's a really great idea. Cause I know, especially a lot of like my Canadian friends, not everybody's comfortable or like able to travel during this time of year and things like that. Or they have kids and life. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I think that's a really great idea. Awesome. <laughs> Was there anything else that I missed that you wanted to share? I, I know it's just so much. It's going to be an amazing time, but was there anything else that you just wanted to share? Like, do you think this is better for, um, is it, is it good for somebody who's never done spray tanning before? Like if you're just like, Hmm, this sounds interesting. Is it okay for like a total newbie or is it more designed for more advanced spray tan artists? Like, does that matter? Yeah, that's a great question. That's actually when you ask, like, is there anything else? I wanted to mention this, that I get the question of, is it right for me? So there are three types of people that we are trying to um, get involved in this. So if you are somebody who's never touched a spray, a spray tan gun before, if you're like, ah, I might be interested in the industry, but I'm not 100% sure, this event will open your eyes to seeing like what the sunless industry is all about and to see if it is right for you. Um, the second type of person is somebody who may have just started or um, have started maybe like less than a year ago and you're just kind of like trying to get your footing down like you're trying to understand like marketing or business or maybe you're still not comfortable with like actual spray tanning this event would be for you and i would also advise looking at the certification um, options that you have available to you as well um, which again would be the beginners or the master course so definitely take a look at that and then the third person um, is basically anyone who is experienced as well who is looking to grow their business through marketing skills, through technical aspects of it, or who just wants to like network with people who are in the industry because there are some like really, really huge brands that are gonna be there. And I can't stress this enough. Like you don't know everything. It doesn't matter if you've been in the industry for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, like you don't know everything that there is to know. And I know that no matter what, no matter like whether you're a newbie or experienced artist, you are going to find that this event will impact you as long as you're open to that. Like if you go in here and you're like, I'm not going to learn anything, like that's what's going to happen. Right. <laughs> it's like if you're open to that and you're open to the idea of connecting and you're open to the idea of learning more things as far as marketing, technical aspects of things or whatever, then you're going to experience that. And um, personally, and I've said this earlier too, like, I wouldn't have my obsidian spray tanning solution line had it not been for the ASTP. I also would not have been like doing the slay the spray tours that I did if it wasn't for the ASTP because Shauna, who I admire and love so much and like have so much respect for, she invited me to be a speaker at her first uh, ASTP Sunless Summit event. And after that, that's when I started the Slay the Spray tour. That's when I started speaking. That's when I decided I was going to start my podcast. Like, that's when I realized, like, wow, like, I can actually have more impact than what I'm doing. That first speaking gig, even though I was, like, shitting my pants, it was so <laughs> impactful for me as, like, an entrepreneur and for, like, my own personal growth that, like, it catapulted me to where I needed to go because had I not had that push, um, I don't know where I would have been today, you know? So I hope that everybody is open to coming and to, like, just meeting different faces and different people because you never know what can happen for you. Yeah. And just like anybody, like you're not too small or too big to come to this type of event. Like, I think it's something that we should, it should be like a prerequisite for all spray tan artists. Like you have to do at least one live event every year hey. and you just never know where it's going to take you because it definitely something positive for sure will happen as a result of coming. And I think a lot of people are scared to invest in, in these types of things, but guaranteed like every I've done quite a few like beauty and, and events I've gone to and ev I never regretted one of them mm -hmm. every single event whether it was a personal development event well whether, whether it was a spray tanning or makeup or whatever every single one I went to I had at least like a handful of takeaways that really changed and helped me in some type of way you never know what it's going to be but just expect something awesome is going to happen because it will <laughs> and I'm just excited to see all you guys it's going to be so much fun I know I'm really excited like I feel like I've been in a little hole for the last since basically March 2020 when all of this COVID stuff happened so I've been slowly like getting out this year but I haven't done like anything remotely close to what I'm doing now since 2019 since I had my last like bigger live event called wake up to level up um and I miss it so much like I've been like 
imagining all of the things that happened at that event, like rewatching the videos and stuff. And I just get chills because I'm just like, it, this is it for us in the sunless industry. So I'm really, really, really stoked to see you. See all the spray tan class um, trainers, which like, by the way, Janae was like, I can't wait to see you. And in my mind, I'm like, we've already met, but we never have. And it just yeah. close, you know? Yeah. So really funny, but I can't wait to see you guys and um, just have a really, really, really good time with everybody there. Awesome. So if anybody's on the fence or if you want inf more information, definitely reach out to Kelly or myself. I have some information or I can direct you to the right place. Uh, you can visit slaythespray.com. And if you're interested, I do have a promo code. You can just use my name, P-A-M-E-L-A. -E and we can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today, Kelly, and for just sharing everything and just being you. Of course. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I love you a long, long time. And I'll see you <laughs> in the month. Yay! <laughs> Bye. Bye.